Hey guys, it's Rob here from Dodge and Fusky, InfoPluginBoutique.com, and today we're going to be having a look at a contact library called Emotional Piano. Now before I get into the plugin, I'm just going to show you very quickly a small composition that I made earlier with it. Uh, yeah, so um, basically I'm going to quickly show you around some of the plugin settings um, and how it might be used uh, in some slightly more contemporary music. Um, so it's got the standard kind of envelope control, so you've got like attack, release, decay, all that kind of stuff. You've also got pedal volume for like, you know, part of the emulation of the pedal sound, and a dynamic control which kind of controls how hard or soft uh, the general articulation of the sound is. Uh, you also have a pretty nice built-in convolution reverb, pretty standard stuff, and uh, tone control, so EQ, all pretty standard really. Um, now there's various different uh, presets and sounds that come with it. They're all kind of generally aimed at a kind of nice, poppy, kind of big, warm uh, sound with, with lots of nice harmonics. And they also have kind of honky-tonk granny piano sounding stuff, which I'll cover in a second. So the next thing I'm going to show you is kind of how you could use it in a more contemporary kind of dance music kind of style. <laughs> Um, so yeah, all I've got running there is the piano and uh, a drum loop, and as you can tell, it's, it sounds really nice and full throughout the box. All I've got is I've got some chords, high chords, I've got like a one high note playing, and the kind of the bass notes, and there's loads of harmonics, which makes it really easy to EQ nicely to get a full sound without having to layer loads of different sounds. Like, in terms of a go-to piano, it's, it's great, because it just kind of sits straight in the mix really nicely and sounds good. Um, so it's it's pretty versatile. Like I say, it's pretty geared up, from what I can tell, towards kind of jazzy, poppy kind of stuff. And it's very it's very easy to um, like. This is a much more processed example than the first one. So I've got EQ, I've got a couple of reverbs, I've got some pretty heavy multiband compression and LFO tool giving the pump around the kick and the snare. So it's it's pretty easy to adapt to what you're trying to use it for. Um, so like I say, it's mainly kind of pop sounding, um, but also I'm going to play you some kind of granny piano settings as they call it so it gives you a kind of east end piano honky tonk kind of sound uh, as well as part of the package um, but I think most people are probably going to use this as a kind of a go to dance piano because that, that's what I think it sounds best at um, so yeah I mean in, in terms of a quick go to piano I really recommend it I think it's great and um Hopefully this uh, this video has been of some use in giving you an idea of the kind of applications and versatility of, of the library. Anyway, so this has been Rob from Dodge and Fusky, InfoPluginBoutique.com.